do we pray? Is it because we need to hear from God? Is it for a loved one? Are we seeking guidance and wisdom? Or is it just what we're supposed to do because we're Christian? Jesus prayed. In Mark 135, it says, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. That intrigues me. Jesus is the Son of God. He is wisdom. He is love. He has intimate access to the Father, yet he often prayed. Many times the disciples waited or napped at a distance while Jesus talked to God. Prayer, in many religions, is a duty. Prayer, in some religions, is a means of finding peace or direction. Jesus showed us that prayer is intimate. I have an old shoebox in my garage. It's filled with the letters exchanged between my husband and I when we were dating. I read through some of those letters recently. Some of them made me laugh out loud. And others reminded me of how lonely I felt at times because we lived at a distance from each other for over a year. Those letters aren't profound. There's nothing in them that will ever make headline news. Yet they're valuable to me because they represent two people who loved each other enough to stay connected. We often talk about how God loves us, and He does. When we pray, not because we need something, but simply because we love Him, that adds an entirely different element to the power of prayer. Prayer becomes our love letters to God. We do share our needs. We do ask for guidance. We do ask for wisdom. But we show up because we desire to know His heart. This is our come with me invitation in prayer. We can communicate with God, but we're invited to commune with Him. It's not about the amount of time we spend in prayer, but that it becomes a part of our relationship with God. Have you ever stopped to talk to a friend for five minutes, but it turns into an hour? You didn't show up tapping your watch saying, hey, I've got to check this off my to-do list today, or I'm giving you five minutes and then I'm out of here. You simply showed up because you wanted to be there. Going isn't where we go, but what happens as we do. Now, what does that mean? When we show up to pray, it's not about where we're going. It's not the place. It's not the posture. And it's not a formula. It's what happens as we begin to connect with God every single day. It's about what happens when we do that. It changes us. It changes the relationship, and over time, we begin to recognize and hear His voice. Now, this is one area where the enemy will fight us the hardest, because intimacy in prayer removes the distance between God and His people, and that's dangerous for an enemy that wants to make prayer seem like a chore or boring, when it's what ignites our faith. What might happen if we begin to show up every day just to let Him know that we love Him? What if we begin to see prayer as our love letter to God?